reflections inside the integrating sphere create uniform light beams. The three detectors are used for detecting the intensity of the light over the given wavelength range. Conventionally, spectrophotometers use two detectors, a photomultiplier tube for the UV and visible regions and a PBS photodiode for the near-infrared region. In addition to these two detectors, the solid SPECT 3700 also uses an indium gallium arsenide detector. This creates a detection system where a total of three detectors are used. Ultraviolet and visible light entering the integrating sphere is detected using the photomultiplier tube at the bottom of the sphere. This graph shows how detection sensitivity depends on the wavelength. Near infrared light entering the integrating sphere is detected using the PBS cell at the top of the integrating sphere. The red graph shows how detection sensitivity depends on the wavelength. As shown here, when using two detectors, a photomultiplier and lead sulfide cell, the sensitivity becomes lower in the 1000 to 1600 nanometer range. In particular, measurements of low transmission samples are affected by significant noise. The solid spec 3700 achieves high sensitivity over the entire wavelength range by incorporating an indium gallium arsenide detector. This detector ensures high sensitivity in the region where only a low level of sensitivity could be achieved using the conventional two detector method. In particular, this capability provides a tremendous advantage in the field of optical communications, where measurement in the near infrared region is critically important. Let it fall.